Hey YouTube friends, I'm Pam and I heart save me money. If you enjoy money saving hauls, please subscribe. Today is December 1st. It's hard to believe it's December already, but time is just cruising by. I have this coupon for 20% off that I received on Black Friday. It expires December 8th, so I want to make sure that I use that up. It's 20% off your total purchase, but it does have some restrictions on there, so you have to read the fine, fine print. So I'm going to see if I can include that with some cartwheel offers. I found a few items at the Dollar Tree. Let's see, my daughter picked up some candy, a pack of forks and spoons for 48 each. There's two packages of paper plates, 20 count. That's, I think, the best deal on paper products is from Dollar Tree. The coupon item, the Hall's Cough Drops, $1.25 off of two. So some good deals there. And then now on to my finds from Target. I did the deal where you buy three participating products and receive a $10 gift card. Decided to go with two laundry products and some toilet paper for my three items to get the $10 gift card. And then some allergy medicine for my daughter, Advil for her, and some Advil for us. Only $3.99 for the 100 count, or two 100 count rather, for adults. That's a good deal. And then on Lysol products, they had a special buy one, get one 20% off. So I did that. I needed some more Mr. Clean. Didn't have a coupon for that though, but still needed it. The Windex was, I believe, $3.29 minus 75 cents on a paper coupon. Some of their Market Pantry cheese items. I did have coupons for other brands, but the Market Pantry was cheaper even with the manufacturer coupons on the name brands. Decided to get my milk and juice there. Good deal on blueberries, $1.89 for a pint. And then let's see some broccoli, spinach, because romaine is still on recall. Not the set's not available. Bananas, bread. Only $2.79 for the little um, container of frozen peaches with no sugar added. Some chips, wide assortment of yogurts, and I did have 50 cents off of five. I think she's got 10 in there. And this little bag of tater tots, their version, is only $1.79 regular their price. And also some um, waffle fries, eggs. This is probably the most expensive item I bought, probably because it's a convenience item. The, um, let's see, the sweet and sour chicken, oh, that's just over $5. And I did run into Cub to get some water that I always buy every week there. And then in addition to that, I found some apple juice on sale for... 88 cents a container, which is a good deal for 100% juice. And here's the Friday freebie from Cobb. They have daily deals where you have to load the, the deal to your card each day, and then it's good for two days. Now, for instance, like this is the chocolate chips are 79 cents. The uh, carrots are 59 cents, but you have to buy a minimum of $10 purchase to get the deals. So I was needing some batteries. I know it might seem like a weird place to get some batteries, but I found a six pack of essentially every day for $5.99. So I went ahead and got that. And I'd been needing some hand soap anyways, and these are on sale for $2 a piece. However, there is a coupon in this little booklet over by the pharmacy. So um, you get your flu shot there, by the way, and then you can get $10 off coupon for one total purchase. But anyways, inside this booklet is all kinds of handy little coupons. And there was a coupon in there for soft soap. So I have a booklet at home. I grabbed them from the pharmacy, used two of those, making those a dollar a piece. And I didn't know if stamps would count or not, but I did need stamps too. So I picked up a pack of stamps while I was there. So I got my total up to $10 like I needed to so I could get the savings for the carrots. So those were 59 cents, and my chocolate chips were 79 cents. And I haven't checked the date on these yet. Let's see. Oh, it says good till August 2020, so I'll put that 
in my rotation for baking supplies. And tomorrow I'm going to head over to Hy-Vee. They also have a deal on carrots, baby carrots, for 49 cents. But that's not the reason why I'm going there. I'm going for the Make My Monday deal. It's a sack deal, again, for meat, seafood, and deli. All of those items that you can fit into a bag for 20% off. So looking forward to seeing what I can find there. For my finds from the Hy-Vee meat sale, 20% off. Let's see, let's start with this pack of beef. Angus, it was $16.95, marked down to $8.06. I'm going to divide this out and freeze th that. And then the um, pork chops were on sale $8.61. They were $1.99 a pound for just over four pounds. So I'm going to break these up and get some meals out of here. Let's see. My total was $13.34 for these two items here, which I think is pretty good because meat is pretty expensive. The beef regular price was $6.99 a pound, and I'm not sure how much pork normally is for the chops, but I only buy that when they're on sale. But um, every little bit adds up. <laughs> 